Welcome back to GamerPod UK. Today we're doing Rainbow Six Siege and we're going to play through the situation missions. Uh, starting off with the first one, CQB Basics. We're going to play through on normal difficulty just to give you a bit of heads up on the gameplay, the stylings and the tactics just to give you a bit of an idea on how the game works. So starting off with the first one, objectives, clear the base of enemy combatants and as you can see with each mission comes three starred objectives these are extras that you can do um, so obviously first one finish the situation with at least 50% health remaining so try not to get shot and the next one kill two enemies while aiming I hope that you're aiming at all the enemies and the last one perform four headshots as long as you're accurate it should be easy so let's try this on normal difficulty just to show you what the game is like You will engage in 10 fundamental counter-terrorism situations before being deployed. Report to the SAS base in Hereford. You are to infiltrate a kill house and clear the area of enemy combatants. In close quarters combat, operators must rely on situational awareness to locate and identify threats and assets. Secure the area using a slow and methodical sweep. Here, you will face a trained enemy equipped with military-grade weapons and explosives. Never stop until the threat is neutralized. You will need to rely on basic muscle discipline and your ability to reduce exposure to enemy fire by using the environment. Eliminate the terrorists. So there you have it. So starting off, starting off a nice little tie yard. Aim, left trigger, fire obviously right trigger. You can peek round corners using the right thumbstick while aiming to go right and the left thumbstick to go left. If need be, you can switch the rate of fire of your weapon with the up arrow on your D-pad. Now let's have a look at the outside of the house. So the first thing you want to think of tactically is entry point. For me, I always like to go in from above and sweep through. So from playing this before, use the right thumbstick while not aiming to break through breakable surfaces such as this. The ground corners. If you ever get flashed, use the thumbstick to retreat to somewhere you know is safe. Well, that was a very lucky shot. If need be, to check out a room, you can also use the right on the D-pad to launch a drone. This will allow you to safely check out the enemies. and mark them using the Y button. Make sure that they don't see your drone, otherwise it will get shot. Mark a few targets, turn to the player, so they can pick you up. So as you see, marking the target allows you to get a good vantage point on each enemy. Remaining. Just a heads up, once you get to three enemies remaining, they will all start to head towards you. This is in both terrorist missions and situations. And there you have it. Op four eliminated. Clean mission. Completed. So I recommend when you get down to three enemies, find yourself a nice corner or corridor to hide in. And use it to funnel 
to which funnel the enemies to a choke point. This can often be beneficial and make it very easy just to pick off those last three. So, on to the next situation. In a hostage situation, you cannot be slow and methodical. Once you breach the perimeter, you must conduct a violent and dynamic assault in order to extract the hostage from a barricaded house. Use breach charges to quickly infiltrate the building. The physical safety of the asset is paramount. Breach charges give you a momentary tactical advantage to neutralize enemies and take control of the asset. Provide cover for the asset as you move to the extraction point, eliminating any hostiles you encounter. Good luck. So the second situation is a hostage mission. Let's have a look at the secondary objectives. Let's kill one blind enemy, destroy two breakable surfaces with a breach charge, and let's have a look, and as always, finish the situation with at least 50% health. When you are sweeping the area, always check the outside first. Make sure there are no enemies looking outside. Another good tactic is look under doorways. Allows you a sneak peek at where the enemy's at. So, make sure the area is safe. Nice safe area. And let's use our drone just to pick out where the enemies are. So, first things first, there's an enemy just out the door there. Enemy there. Let's look down here, see what's down here. Good idea when doing any hostage situation mission. Use your drone to find the hostage. And see what kind of enemy or reinforcements around the area to pick off. Use the A button to jump, can avoid fire or get over objects. So let's have a look around here. So this room here looks to be a shower room. The objective being in there. If we enter here, through this room here, kill the enemies below to ensure that they're clear extraction. Kill the enemy up here and go in through the shower room here entering hostage in front of you and no enemies are on the side now that we've managed to achieve a lookout of the house turn the drone to the player now use our newfound knowledge to pick them off one by one. As we know, there is an enemy up there, but first of all, we are going to pick off the enemy down here. Make it clearer for us to pick off the enemies above. There's our blinded enemy. Now there's an enemy just in there. Break through. Kill the last one. Grab the hostage. The warning. They will sap us from every angle. Failed one of the objectives, however, we have managed to achieve the hostage rescue with minimal force.
Now on to the next situation. Let's have a look what we've got. We are facing a bomb threat against a high value target. It is crucial that you choose an entry point that minimizes your exposure to enemy fire and the time it takes to reach the bomb and disarm it. Repelling is the quickest way to traverse the building, allowing you to bypass corridors and stairs. Once you reach the target, you will need to disarm a bomb loaded with an unknown chemical compound. We have equipped you with a diffuser. Set it near the bomb to intercept the signal. Protect the diffuser while it completes the sequence. <clears throat> so, first bomb mission. Bomb. And kill two enemies through breakable surface. Keep enemy from touching the diffuser. And as always, finish on more than 50% health are our objectives. So as you saw in that video, one of the beneficial tactics is repelling. It allows you to reach places which are normally a little bit more difficult to reach. Ooh. So, he looks purple. Now looking at the reinforced walls in the back there, in fact there seem to be quite heavy reinforcements in this area, I would say this is where the bomb is at, just through there. So check on our surroundings, a little disco like that. Can we have a breakable so no we don't, get rid, use the right button, possible breakable reach charge. There you go. Right. Cock your grenade, give it a throw, and miss. Good tactic. Try again. There you go. A nice grenade in there. through here with our bomb. Let's make it a little bit easier going through the wall rather than through the door. Right, there we have it. So, find a suitable place to place the diffuser, somewhere that's well defendable. As we have a reinforced wall behind us here, placing the diffuser somewhere. Let's give it here. And now that that's placed there, I'm going to sit here. This will give me an advantage as the as the terrorists go to rush to there, they won't see me. Giving me perfect advantage to kill them from. If you run low on ammo, or need to switch weapon, switch to your pistol provides a perfect alternative. And 
there you have it. Bomb diffused. Mission successful. Bomb diffused. to our final situation of today's video. On we go. <coughs> Airplanes have long been targeted for terrorist attacks. The mobility and the high profile nature of the attack against random victims appeals to organizations looking to make a name for themselves. This kind of attack, if successful, can make their cause known and increase member recruitment. Tubular assaults provide very little cover and minimal escape routes. The FBI SWAT operator Ash will be deployed for this situation. Her breaching rounds enable you to aggressively seize and control lines of fire. Eliminate all so we get our first look at an operator, Ash. She is one of SWAT's assaulting operators. And here's the breach round. That's her special. We've got a good breach through. And there you have it. Quick way of breaching through any surface. Let's see what's through this wall. As noted before, when you do get down to three enemies, <coughs> you will incur the wrath of the rest of them. And they will come and hunt you down. So using leaning to check round corners reduces exposure. Enemies will often choose to do a quick burst when they see you and then stop to see where you've gone. Pick that moment to pop out and hit them while they're checking. Quick sweep of the quick sweep of each room, moving fast. There we go. So this floor is now clear. So we need now need to find a way up to the upper floor, or possibly the lower floor. That's good. So here we have a reinforced wall. It's very likely that they are in a room near that. So now that we have some oh, and there they are. Oh, 
Now we're down to one enemy remaining, so that one enemy will be coming at us at some point. From where? I do not know. Get ourselves into a nice defendable position. And behind us they are. And there you go. Top four eliminated. Hope you found the video informative and enjoy the situations as much as I have. We will see you very soon with another episode with the next three to four situations. Keep an eye out. And if you've got any suggestions or any thoughts, give us a shout. And don't forget, subscribe.